Good Wednesday morning. I'm Guy McPherson of GuyMcPherson.com, also known as Nature Bass Last. It's Wednesday, February 3rd, 2021. In this video, I'm going to provide an overview of the importance of healthy soil in sequestering carbon. As usual, I encourage you to go to GuyMcPherson.com to look at the papers embedded there, and you can track the information. Those papers will provide far more information than I'm going to provide in this relatively short video. Okay, from last Thursday, January 28th, 2021, comes a paper in The Counter titled, We're Told That Healthy Soil Sequesters Huge Amounts of Carbon from the Atmosphere. Scientists are finding that's not always the case. The subhead, carbon farming is a centerpiece of the Biden administration's climate strategy, but new, res new research complicates common assumptions about, about how it can work. And the take-home message in about three paragraphs goes something like this. Foremost among the suggested ag proposals for the 150 former government officials and advisors to President Biden about how to deal with climate change, foremost among the suggested agricultural proposals was the creation of a federal carbon bank which would pay producers to adopt car conservation strategies such as cover cropping and no-till farming on their fields. The basic concept is that those strategies allow for the introduction of additional carbon into the soil as the plants break down. And the, the paper goes on down the line, as if we have some many decades down the line. Down the line, the former officials suggested the federal government could go on to sell the carbon credits produced from storing carbon in the soil to polluting companies seeking to offset their own emissions. And this is the bait and switch strategy that is currently in use that allows people to feel good about their flying if they just buy carbon offsets for their airline ticket. There remains a lot that we don't know about soil carbon sequestration, goes this article. How to accurately measure it, how to price it, and what practices really increase it. The latest research raises new questions about how long sequestered carbon actually stays in the ground, and that's the important point here. The article in the counter points to a recent paper in Nature Communications published on January 27, 2021, a week ago today. And that paper is titled 4D Imaging Reveals Mechanisms of Clay Carbon Protection and Release. And there's relatively little here that is useful in terms of the conversation, except that this paper points out yet again that there is no magic bullet. We are in the midst of abrupt, irreversible climate change. I've written about single issue solutions, and there are none. There is no strategy we can take as a society that by itself will fix the wrongs we have committed over the past 270 years, at least, including, including the entire Industrial Revolution. So there are no single issue solutions. There might be one strategy that I've talked about repeatedly before, and that's the project headed by Dr. Ye Tao at Harvard's Roland Institute. It's called the Mere Reflection Project, and I've included a link to the Mere Reflection Project below. So that strategy, along with others, might allow us to escape without human extinction in the near term. Might. And I think that's the only reasonable path to start with is with the Mere Reflection Project. In the short essay that includes this clip at GuyMcPherson.com, you'll also find an article from 2012 
August 31st, 2012, called Bad News for Soil Carbon Sequestration, question mark. And it points to the fact that the carbon stored in the soil might not last very long. And in fact, mycorrhizae are central to sequestering carbon, storing it over the relatively short time. But the article goes on, on page 1084 of this issue of the journal Science, Ching et al. show not only that the extra soil carbon is respired back into the atmosphere, but that the fungi activity stimulates additional decomposition of soil organic carbon, increased carbon fixation by plants, and transport of this carbon to the soil via these fungi that may thus result in a net source of CO2 rather than the, than the sink we might have hoped for. Link to this paper and then a link to several other papers through my own work from my long climate change summary update and I include references going back several years ago pointing to the same kinds of things that people are recently rediscovering that, for example, from the headline at the counter, we're told that healthy soils sequesters huge amounts of carbon from the atmosphere. Scientists are finding that's not always the case. Well, scientists, real scientists, have been reporting on that not being the case for the many years that I organized, collate, and put, put out the information via that climate change essay many years ago. So again, the bad news, there's no single issue pursuit that will get us out of abrupt irreversible climate change leading to human extinction and therefore to loss of all life on Earth. That's the bad news. The good news is we've known about this for a long time and there are ways that we can live in our own individual personal lives that will maximize our time our limited time here on Earth. Thank you for staying tuned. We'll put out another one of these science update videos next week.